Judge Judy calls out baloney when she sees it, but there is one thing that is not baloney – her incredible fortune. The no-nonsense legal expert earned her massive wealth as the queen of daytime court TV. She worked extremely hard to make it to the top, but she also likes to live a little. When she's not making people look like fools on her show, she's relaxing in one of her sprawling mansions or cruising around town in a luxury sedan. She is so rich that she even has a private jet that she uses to commute to work. Here's a look at how Judge Judy earns and spends her millions. You don't get to be worth as much as Judge Judy, known by her friends as Judith Scheindlin, without a stellar work ethic and serious smarts. Before she became a mother, wife, lawyer, judge, and daytime TV heavyweight, Judge Judy was simply Judith Blum, and she spent countless hours hitting the books. Judge Judy started her legal training at American University's Washington College of Law, where she was the only woman in a class of 126 students. After graduating, she went on to New York Law School, where she earned her Juris Doctor degree. After passing the bar in 1965, she went on to work as a corporate lawyer for a cosmetics firm. She quickly became dissatisfied and did not find the work rewarding, so she took a break to focus on raising her two children. Judge Judy has never been afraid of reinventing herself. She was given some very good advice over the years and has said it's important to not get stuck doing a job you hate. She didn't find huge success until she was 53. That's how old she was when the Judge Judy TV show premiered. If you don't like what you're doing in your 30s, try something new in your 40s. If that doesn't work, try something new in your 50s. Those are the words of wisdom from Judge Judy. If Judge Judy Judy had kept working as a corporate lawyer, she would have been unfulfilled and not nearly as wealthy as she is now. When she returned to the courts in 1972 after her sabbatical, Judge Judy took up family law. She worked tirelessly as a prosecutor in the New York court system and eventually caught the eye of Mayor Ed Koch, who appointed her as a criminal court judge in 1982. Her no-nonsense attitude made her stand out. The work was fulfilling and the money was pretty good. By 1993, she was making $113,000 per year and living in a Manhattan studio apartment. But it certainly wasn't a life of luxury. She joked that she used to sleep on a Murphy bed that folded up into the wall. She probably sleeps on high-end Egyptian cotton now. Her days of living in a cramped New York apartment are long gone. Judge Judy's daytime TV show was an instant hit when it premiered in 1996, but nobody would predict just how huge the show would become. The vast majority of Judge Judy's $440 million net worth is from her extremely popular TV show. Her show is ending next year, but Judge Judy shows no sign of slowing down and will likely keep earning big bucks. Since her last contract renewal, she earned $47 million per season. That's an absolutely insane amount of money, and it's even more impressive when you realize she only works on the show 52 days a year. That's about $900,000 per day and about $460,000 per episode. In 2017 alone, she earned $147 million from the show because she sold the show's backlog of episodes to CBS for $100 million. That's an absolutely ridiculous amount to pay for some reruns, but CBS thinks it's well worth it. There have been over 5,200 episodes of The Judge Judy Show, and the show will continue to air in syndication and will likely show up on CBS's streaming service in the future. That's a lot of binge watching. Judge Judy's show became so popular that she never had to renegotiate a contract, not once. If executives wouldn't pay up, then she would walk. With someone with the catchphrase, don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining, ever consider negotiating, she would simply meet with CBS executives every three years and hand them an envelope with a list of demands and a number. The executives would have no choice but to pay up. CBS executive John Nagoski once tried to hand Judge Judy an envelope of his own and she wouldn't even open it. Maybe it's more than what's in your envelope, he asked. Well, John, if I look at your envelope, it's a negotiation. This isn't a negotiation, she said. After all, who could possibly replace Judge Judy? Judge Judy's husband, Jerry Scheindland, hosted rival court TV show The People's Court from 1999 to 2001. And the novel experiment turned out to be an absolute disaster. Judge Judy wiped the floor with her husband. It wasn't pretty. The ratings weren't even close. Why would anyone want to watch Judge Jerry when Judge Judy is on TV? So how does Judge Judy spend all that dough? Well, she definitely leads a lavish lifestyle. Her real estate portfolio is so vast that she has homes in Beverly Hills, Connecticut, and Florida. She once owned an $11 million Naples, Florida penthouse with four spacious bedrooms and balconies with stunning views of the Gulf of Mexico. The palatial penthouse was decked out with four full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, and two high-speed private elevators. Judge Judy wanted to upgrade to something a little more secluded, so she sold her Naples penthouse and opted for a 
luxurious lakefront mansion instead. Her $8.6 million, 10,607 square foot Naples mansion has a pristine landscaped yard, lagoon style pool and spa, three waterfalls and a gazebo. This is the perfect place for Judge Judy to relax and forget about all those defendants who are as dumb as a bucket of rocks. Her words, not ours. We get it. It must be stressful dealing with so much idiocy so often. If the heat is too unbearable in Florida, Judge Judy simply hops on her private jet and flies up the coast to Connecticut. Her stunning $13.2 million mansion in Greenwich sits on 12.5 lavish acres and has nine bedrooms, a massive outdoor pool, and even a hedge maze. But this is not the only palatial estate she has in New England. She also has a $9 million mansion in Newport, Rhode Island that was once owned by Campbell's Soup heiress Dorrance Hamilton. Dubbed the Birdhouse, this state-of-the-art mansion features a massive two-story entrance hall, living room with a floor-to-ceiling fireplace, and breathtaking panoramic ocean views. The 9,719-square-foot home sits on 3.6 glorious acres and has six bedrooms, six full bathrooms, and two half-bathrooms. The queen of daytime court TV deserves a castle, or or multiple castles, after all. On top of all that, she also has an $8.5 million four-bedroom duplex on the Upper East Side of New York City. Judge Judy films her show in Los Angeles, and she travels from coast to coast in her Cessna 750 Citation X that's worth about $24 million. While we're stuck in traffic, she's commuting to work in a private jet. Of course, she has a West Coast abode, too. Her $10.7 million five-bedroom condo at the Montage in Beverly Hills is where she relaxes after a hard day of yelling and cutting through the BS. Judge Judy hasn't flown on a commercial airline since 9-11, so the private jet was definitely a good investment. Her yacht, on the other hand, probably wasn't a good investment, but she definitely had fun with it anyway. Maybe that's why she decided to sell it. The $6.9 million, 152-foot-long yacht called the Triumphant Lady has five cabins for 14 guests. That was plenty of space for Judge Judy, her family, and a whole bunch of celebrity friends. Judge Judy may seem mean on TV, but in reality, she's plenty of fun. So that must be why she has a long list of celebrity friends that includes Amy Schumer and Samuel L. Jackson. There's one automaker that Judge Judy loves above all the rest, and that's Bentley. There are few cars more classy and elegant than a Bentley, and clearly Judge Judy knows that. She has a whole fleet of Bentleys, including a 2007 Bentley Azure, 2006 Bentley Arnage R, and 2016 Bentley Mulsan. The 2007 Bentley Azure convertible is her daily driver and she was spotted so many times in Greenwich that her neighbors started to complain. In 2008, the town's tax office launched a probe after a homeowner complained that Judge Judy wasn't paying thousands in local taxes on the convertible. The car was registered in Florida, even though Judge Judy bought it in Connecticut. But she did nothing wrong because she spends less than six months out of the year in New England. Can you believe someone thought Judge Judy didn't know the law? You might have noticed that Judge Judy has been rocking a ponytail lately. But even though she changed up her hairstyle, there's one thing that will never change, and that's her signature diamond earrings. Her earrings are believed to be made from 5 carat diamonds and valued at a whopping $120,000. Even though she has no problem splurging on fashion, Judge Judy still takes pride in being frugal and has even bragged about buying clothes off the sales rack at Bloomington's and Saks Fifth Avenue. Judge Judy likes to treat herself, but she spends plenty on her family, too. She bought her husband a $40,000 Harley-Davidson motorcycle for his birthday, but she was worried about his safety, so she opted for a three-wheel motorcycle instead. He's not allowed to take it out into traffic and only allowed to drive it around the estate. Her husband loves the tricycle, but it might be tough not being able to take the hog out on the highway. She joked about the tricycle purchase when she appeared on Ellen and said that her husband drives the trike to the gym and back to the house. That's it. Judge Judy knows the value of charity, and that's why she donates much of her time and money to her honor mentoring program program for young girls. The charity pairs students with mentors according to career interests and life experiences. Judge Judy co-founded the charity with her daughter, Nicole Scheindlin, in 2006, and the program is designed to provide a platform for young women wanting to reach their full potential. It reinforces the importance of a college education and a meaningful profession, which is one of Judge Judy's greater life lessons. What better mentor could a young girl interested in law have than Judge Judy? There is no doubt that Judge Judy is making a big difference through her honor mentoring program. Program. Judge Judy's show may be coming to an end next year, but she shows no signs of slowing down. Just because Judge Judy's TV show is ending after 25 years, that doesn't mean we won't be able to see Judge Judy on TV. Quite the opposite, actually. Even though the Judge Judy TV show will be in reruns, that doesn't mean she will stop bringing the gavel down. Judge Judy is creating a brand new court TV show called Judy Justice, so it's likely she will be telling it like it is and throwing out witty one-liners for many more years. She's also setting up the next generation of legal experts on TV. Judge Judy produces the court show Hot Bench through her production company, Queen Bee Productions.
That's it, folks. Are you impressed with Judge Judy's massive fortune? What would you buy if you had millions like she does? Would you splurge on yachts or Bentleys? Or maybe you would buy a private jet to use on your daily commute? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.